Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. In this video, we're going to show you guys how to differentiate a log natural function uh, that requires using the quotient rule. So let's just give you guys the function first. So the function is y equals ln x divided by cosine x, and we want to know how to differentiate this function. So we're going to show you guys what the answer is first with GeoGebra, and then we'll show you how to get to it. So the function is y equals ln x divided by cosine x. So to differentiate this function, we're going to use the derivative function in GeoGebra, and let's just put f inside of that function, and you can see that the red line is the derivative of the green line and you can see that um, this is the function that we're trying to get to uh, in the question so how do we get to that so let's try and differentiate it using the quotient rule so the quotient rule states that if y is equal to u divided by v, u is a function and v is a function, then y dash equals v times u dash minus u times v dash divided by v squared. And you can see that this fraction matches what we have here because it's basically a function on the top, the ln function on the top, and the cosine function on the bottom. So what we're going to do is we're going to let u equal ln x, because u is the term at the top, and v equals cosine x. So let's differentiate each one. So if u is ln x, then u dash would be... 1 over x. If you don't know how to differentiate ln x, I suggest you go to one of my previous tutorials and you'll see why the derivative of ln x is 1 over x. Okay, now let's differentiate v. So v dash equals, and if you differentiate cosine, you will get negative sine x. Okay, so now that we have each of the terms, let's now substitute this into the formula. So I have y dash equals cosine x times 1 over x minus uh, u, which is ln x, times negative sine x. Um, so that's the times there. Divided by v squared, so that's cosine x squared. Okay, so let's try and simplify this a little bit better. So now I have um, cosine x over x. Uh, negative times negative is positive. ln x sine x divided by uh, cosine x squared is the same as cosine squared x. Right, that's what the notation represents. A bit easier than drawing brackets around it. Okay, now you can see the top of this fraction has another fraction. A fraction within a fraction. Now that's a bit annoying. So we want to get rid of this fraction line. We want to get rid of this fraction line. So how will we get rid of that? Well, we're going to multiply the whole of the top of this fraction so we're going to multiply this whole numerator by x. So let me rub this bit out. Okay, we're going to multiply the whole of the top fraction by x. And that means we have to do the same thing to the bottom of the fraction, the denominator. Because then the fraction will stay equal. The value of this whole fraction has not changed because we multiply both the numerator and denominator by the same uh, value, the same variable. Okay, so now what we can do is we can expand this out. 
So we have x divided by x, so the fraction has disappeared. Okay, because x divided by x is just 1, so it disappeared. Now we have x times ln x sine x, so let's just write that out. In the bottom we have x cosine squared x. And then there's no easy way to make this expression any simpler than it is. So that's my final answer. And let's check that in GeoGebra again and see if it matches. So we have x sine x ln x. That's what we have over here. And then we also have x square x sine x. Oh, sorry, we have cosine x, which is here, and we have x cosine squared x, which is here, so it does match. Okay, so that's how you differentiate uh, ln function as well as a trigonometric function using, a using the quotient rule. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.